Welcome, everybody. It's Turbo Terramino. Come on, just buy something. I can't... Are you waiting for me to fall asleep or something? This guy won't even let me get my intro in. Welcome, everybody. It's Turbo Terramino, and we're playing The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. Let's go, Fancy Pants! All right, so uh, this guy's hurrying me along. So let's go ahead and... What do you want? Let's go ahead and find the Swordmaster. I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. And don't touch anything! All right, let's follow this old coot. Now we want to go to the fork here. That way we can continue following him. Now this is like the lost, uh, the lost woods in. Uh, wait. My, what an unusually bright yellow they are. I want to pick that up. We'll use that for later. You'll get lost in these woods if you don't follow him. These are also the woods that we need to go back through to find the buried treasure, and uh, we'll try and do that after this. I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on the business. This kid, come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike, and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. Well, too late. I know where you are. And I'm gonna bring all the tourists. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission, which I surely didn't give you. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. What was your final grade in Captain Smirk's sword fighting class? Uh, uh grade? Class? You mean you came here to take on the Swordmaster of Melee Island, possibly the greatest sword fighter in the entire Caribbean, 
Without a single lesson in the art of fencing? Yep. How did you expect to defend yourself? Gee, I don't know. I see. Obviously not with your razor-sharp wit. I'd advise you to seek out Captain Smirks and get some real training. It would hardly be ethical, sporting, or even interesting to fight someone as unskilled as yourself. So beat it. Ow, my ego. Alright, so let's go find the sword training class. Now, if you wanted, you could have skipped that entire dialogue and could have just went straight to the class. Which is where we're going to go now. But we had to hit these lights first. And we're going to see a familiar face. Stop! You must pay a toll. Stand aside, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. <laughs> You're no pirate. Well, the town drunk could out insult you on his back. And probably would. Stick it in your ear, you great green garrulous grub. Um. Uh. uh which ear? Cuddle breath. <laughs> yeah. That was in the comeback. None shall pass until you pay the toll. Look behind you, a mouse. I'm not falling for that. Scuttle along, you scurvy sea slug. None shall pass. You can't pass until you pay the toll. How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? Nothing of consequence. I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. I'll try to find something like that. Bye. You have three chances to give me what I want. Then I eat ya. None shall pass. Something that'll gain attention. There's no real importance. None shall pass. No real importance. Looks like we're going to give him a red herring. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. And it's George Lucas. And then he uses to the force to grab the club back. Now we can walk through those lights. We don't have to go back there again. Well, I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Um, could you please put out that cigar? It's not good for your health, and it smells terrible. Sure, I'd love to put it out. In your face. Uh, maybe I'll just leave instead. Good idea. What do you want? Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. 
It looked like we were done for, but then she said... But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. Did you see my sign? I usually charge 30 pieces of eight for a big job like this one. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student-mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against the machine. The machine? Is this gonna hurt? Yikes. Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. No! Beat first, then lunge! No! Beat first, then lunge! Distance, distance! No! Beat first, then lunge! Use your forte against the foible! Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kinda like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's got to be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay, imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer! You respond with... So's your mother. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like... How appropriate! You fight like a cow! You see... It's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? So's your mother. I can see we're in deep trouble here. Ah, oh. A correct response to Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab would have been something like First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. Okay, now that we went ahead and went through that training class, we're going to go through the tedious task of hunting down all these pirates and getting into insult sword fights.
We have Ugly Pirate and Bloodthirsty Pirate and Stinky Pirate. Let's just run into someone. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Now, the way this works is we will deal an insult when it's our turn. They will come back with the uh, razor sharp response. Now, when I screw up, which is bound to happen because I'm limited on my insults, uh, the computer will then come back and, and you essentially learn the insults and uh, retorts back and forth as you continue to fight. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. See, so the first couple of these, uh, we're not going to know the responses, so... I'm shaking! I'm shaking! You make me want to puke. Oh, yeah? I give up! You win! Okay, so we just got two more insults. So we'll use those on Stinking Pirate, if I can catch up to him. What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Oh, you make me want to puke. Oh, yeah? Okay, so we'll have to get the retort for that one still. And we'll need this one also. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast. You have the manners of a beggar! Oh, yeah? Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab! First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. You fight like a dairy farmer! Oh, I am rubber. You are glue. Whoa, first to win. I give up. You win. All right. So we're going to continue to go through these. Uh, nothing really of crazy importance other than just some insults and some retorts. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. Once you've gathered enough insults and retorts, one of these random pirates are going to tell you that you're strong enough now or, or you're, you're good enough now to beat the Swordmaster. And then that's your key to go back to uh, finding the Swordmaster and, and battling her. Uh, that one's a heck of a lot more difficult, though, because her insults are different, but it has the same retorts to them. So it, it throws a little curveball, which makes it a little bit more fun and less monotonous that when you're going through the training fighting all these pirates. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, we're gonna do one more and we're gonna see if that'll be enough to fight the Swordmaster. If not, get over your stinking pirate. Alright, screw you. I don't want to go into the fork. Move out of the way or I cut my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, which ones don't we have? We got this one. I need this one. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Oh, yeah. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. 
I am Rabbi, you are Glue. This guy's useless. Um... My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as janitor after all? Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Oh, yeah? Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. I give up. You win. All right, let me retreat to the fork. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and leave it there. I know this one is a little long, so uh, I'm going to continue to fight these pirates, and I will see you next time when we are ready to fight the Swordmaster. Thanks for watching.